Okay, welcome back uh, to the lecture series on introduction to AWS. As part of today's session, we will be discussing on uh, introduction to S3. So, let us begin the session. Uh, majorly, we will be focusing on two topics. One is uh, what is an object store and the other one is what is Amazon S3. So, to begin with, Basically, when we are uh, discussing about Amazon S3, it deals with storage. It deals with storage. When we are focusing on on-premise storage, we are very well aware of HDD, hard disk drive and SSD, solid state drive. When we are comparing these two things, uh, when usually in decade ago or presently also, we are very fond of hard disk drives where these will have high capacity in storage and means high volume of data at lower cost. Whereas coming to your SSD, the volume of data which you can store is less as compared to hard disk drives. At the same time, to purchase an SSD, it will have higher cost. This is a comparison between HDD and SSD. But why people are moving towards SSD instead of HDD? That is a question mark because uh, it is having high capacity as well as lower cost even though pe people are preferring for solid state drives. What is the major reason? The performance and uh, the data availability. These are the two reasons why users are preferring solid state drives in their laptops or PCs instead of hard disk drives. When we are talking about performance, uh, the speed at which the data is going to be uh, stored or retrieved is high when we are using solid state drives and this is majorly used uh, for uh, booting of your OS when operating system is booting from RAM sorry from storage disk to RAM then the speed at which it is booting the OS, it is high when compared to hard disk drive. At the same time, the data loss is less. When you are going with hard disk drives, then the disk is majorly focused on mechanical. Just like uh, a uh, pallets are going to be there and and header position. Let us uh, have a view of that. Yeah, you can see that uh, when it is in closed structure, the hard disk drive is going to be a view like this and when it is open then majorly it is of uh, majorly it is of uh, having mechanical drives where you can see there is a pallet and sectors where the data is going to be stored and there is a head portion which is been moving on the disk where the data in order to read the data or to write the data. This is what happens mechanically in hard disk drives and due to which there might be a possibility of data loss or data corrupt over a period of time uh, when we are using these hard disks. So that is our two major reasons why people are preferring solid state drives. This is all about your how we are managing our storage in traditional. 
and when we are moving towards cloud then how we can manage our data is one of the mechanism is S3. So, before uh, moving towards S3 let us have a look at what is an object store. Basically object store is also said to be an object storage is also known as object storage. What happens over here is the data is being organized in the form of objects. The data will be organized in the form of objects and it will get stored in the form of objects uh, which is uh, very reluctant to when we are comparing this with other storage uh, mechanisms such as file storage or else uh, block storage. File storage which is an which follows the hierarchy structure where folders and files are going to be maintained where the entire data is going to be represented in a form of file. Whereas coming to block such as uh, we do have an Hadoop cluster where we are fond of Hadoop distributed file system. This is a distributed file system which manages the data in the form of blocks. The data is being managed in the form of blocks. I reluctant to these two uh, the data will be stored in the form of objects in object store. Okay. So, any user who wants to access this object, he can access through an HTTP using the uh, globally unique identifier. And uh, what does this globally unique identifier contest? One, the metadata and second one is the data. Coming to metadata, it handles who can have an access to this particular object, what type of file it is, what is the size of the file and when it has been created. All these are the contents which will be handled under metadata. When coming to the data itself, you can store any type of data as it is highly unstructured data. You can store either images or video, either JSON format or blob format or any uh, text documents such as HTML or CSS. You can store the codes, everything which can be shared. It can be used just like a Google Drive. If you want to have a close relation uh, to understand, uh, this S3 will work just like a Google Drive. You can have a uh, uh, ample amount of data can be stored over here and it can be access. Uh, so, uh, over here the object will have a unique identifier and the unique identifier will hold two things metadata as well as data where metadata consists of these parameters whereas data it can be any format of data. So, coming to S3 as the acronym stands for simple storage service, this will adapt the storage format of object store. S3 is an object storage in order to store and retrieve any amount of data. There is no limit as such. Any amount of data can be uh, stored and can be retrieved. Just by default, there is one assumption that only 100 buckets can be created. What is a bucket? We will be uh, coming back. Uh, by default, uh, from an account, we can create 100 buckets and uh, within the buckets, we will be storing the objects and uh, this object should not exceed the size of 5 terabyte, a single object. You can store any number of objects, but when you are focusing on a single object, the single object cannot exceed the size of 5 terabyte then uh, how we can um, deal with this object object is just like a file the file with not more than 5 terabyte 5 terabyte itself is a huge and this can be accessed at any point of time from anywhere if the device is connected through the internet and uh, majorly as as we have discussed that object store can store either videos or image files 
or any text documents or music files. All these can be stored in an S3 storage. Major components of this S3 are buckets and object. So, to be specific, what is a bucket? Bucket is a repository which can hold uh, uh, the objects, which can store objects. And what does the object has? The object has the metadata when it has been created, in which region it has been created. Basically, buckets are specific to the region. As uh, we had uh, way back discussed that what is a region? A region is a location. Just like uh, in India, Mumbai is a region where Amazon has its so availability zones or else Hyderabad is a region where Amazon has its own data centers. And uh, when you are creating a bucket, it, uh, crea it will be created based on the region, not on a specific availability zone. At the same time, uh, these buckets will generate an unique version ID. Versioning can be done in uh, S3 and uh, this versioning uh, will, add, uh, will be attached to each and every object with a different ID that we are going to have a look. Uh, then as I said you that by default we can create 100 buckets in an account and it provides unlimited amount of storage. You can store any amount of exabytes or petabytes of data in S3, it will say no, never it will say, but it will charge you based on per GB. The amount of GBs you are going to store, Amazon is going to charge you. Coming to objects, it is a fundamental entity in entire Amazon S3. Object is treated as a file and this object consists of the actual data which you want to store. This data is associated with a key and a metadata. Key is nothing but a unique identifier with the metadata which we had discussed uh, in our previous slide. Additionally, these objects are going to be uh, having format and time and the name of the object, everything in the metadata itself not only the key uh, and metadata, uh, in metadata we will having uh, name, format, time and extra things. As we discussed that each object is being accessed using an uniquely identified, a uh, unique identifier. At the same time, each object must not exceed the 5 terabyte of size, size of data. A file cannot exceed 5 terabyte. Coming to the features and the overview of your introduction, uh, AWS, uh, Amazon uh, S3, S3 stands for simple storage service. Uh, it allows people to store objects in a bucket. Objects and buckets are the key components of uh, any S3 and each bucket will be uniquely identified using a global identifier. At the same time, buckets are created at a region level not at uh, availability zone. Objects are just like files which you are going to store in a bucket with a unique key. And coming to the features, it has a best storage management and where it can have uh, as we had discussed versioning. Not only that, it will have a life cycle process also for managing the data and it will have, it will replicate the data across the regions, which we can say as cross region replication. Which can be said as CRR, cross region replication for uh, low latency, we can adapt this particular mechanisms. So, all these three are used for managing the data at storage level. Not only with that, even S3 can be accommodated with the various services where analytics comes into picture, where big data can be stored under S3 and they can be used instantly using various services of 
AWS and uh, we can monitor our S3 using CloudWatch. What is the storage capacity you had consumed and how much you are going to charge those things can be monitored and scalability is a feature of your S3. You can uh, you will be charged only for the amount of storage capacity you had consumed not for the rest. You can scale up the things and you can scale down the things as per the need and uh, this is a better feature of your Amazon S3. Not only that Amazon provides you various storage classes which we will be discussing on in our next session uh, where uh, to optimize the cost based on the data type you can optimize the cost by having stored in different storage classes. Not only with that uh, the performance of S3 is very high instantly you can store and retrieve the data. Uh, you can manage the access who can access the things and who can uh, not access the things for security concerns and uh, it provides various security parameters also data encryption or else uh, ACL permissions which are access management uh, the data can be encrypted uh, it is based on the choice if you are encrypting the data they are going to charge you and it is highly durable uh, durable means uh, the data is very much available they quote that uh, the data is uh, available for 99.99999 11 times Amazon quotes that these nines are going to be 11 times 99.99 percentage of availability and data transfer rate uh, you can have cross region replication where data transfer be between region to region these are the certain features of uh, Amazon S3 uh, so from this that's it. Thank you.